Imagine an animal so unhealthy it can barely walk down the block without overheating, one that routinely passes out from heat stroke, that struggles to breathe, eat, and drink normally, and can only give birth by C-section. Would it surprise you to learn that humans intentionally created this creature? And it was the number one most popular dog breed in 2022. I'm talking about the French Bulldog. With their bug eyes, flat face, and compact body, they're an undeniably cute dog. But how did we get here? And at what cost? Today on Pet Spotlight, we're exploring the fascinating history and controversial health impacts of selective breeding that produced the French Bulldog and other flat-faced cousins. To understand this issue, let's first discuss how dog breeds are made in general. It takes dedicated selection for desired physical and behavioral traits over many generations to create a breed. Let's say you want a tall dog. You might take the two tallest dogs from a group and breed them together. Then from the next generation, you only breed the tallest dogs again. Over and over, generation after generation, you'll get taller and taller dogs. That's how hereditary genetics works. You can thank Gregor Mendel, the father of modern genetics. Experts say at least 5 to 10 generations of purposeful, controlled breeding are required to get dogs different enough from their origin to be considered a new breed. Kennel clubs like the AKC and others around the world then develop breed standards, which are literal blueprint that breeders must match for things like size, coat, tail, and head shape. This ensures that dogs don't drift from the vision over generations of breeding. The standards can get very specific, down to the angles of the ear tips. Now let's take a look at how the French Bulldog came to be. They emerged in England in the 1800s when lace makers wanted to create a miniature bulldog that they could keep for companionship while working. So breeders selected for dramatic physical changes. A compact, short body, bat-like ears, a squished face, and oversized, wide-set eyes. Their goal was to reflect a tough bulldog in a petite package and they succeeded perhaps a little too well with Frenchies rocketing to popularity in the 1900s and through to the modern day. There's belief that French Bulldogs are so popular because they have baby-like faces that we're naturally attracted to. Big eyes, round faces, large heads. In fact, they were the number one most popular dog in 2022 according to the American Kennel Club. But what are some of the health consequences of selecting for these exaggerated physical traits generation after generation? It's created some pretty severe issues. First, thanks for taking a quick moment to subscribe to Pet Spotlight and liking this video to help us reach more people. The most severe issue in Frenchies and other flat-faced dogs like pugs is breathing difficulties. They suffer from something called brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome, or BOAS. Brachycephalic literally means short head. Their short skulls and extremely flat muzzles lead to obstructed, tighter airways. Basically, the dog's faces are flattened, but the length of their airway is the same as a long-nosed dog. Imagine breathing through a straw, but then crushing the straw up into a squiggly bunch. It's pretty hard to keep the air moving. As a result, many French Bulldogs can't exercise much without dangerous overheating and oxygen deprivation. Because dogs primarily cool through panting, flat-faced breeds are 6 to 14 times higher risk of heat stroke according to one study. Letting French Bulldogs get overweight from lack of exercise then only makes the problem worse. Obesity is its own risk factor for breathing problems in dogs. Surgery to open the airway is pretty common so these dogs can simply breathe. There are several different types of surgeries, including tracheal surgery, which can widen the windpipe to improve airflow, and mandibular surgery, which can increase the size of the jaw to give the dog more room to breathe. Now, surgery is not always necessary or recommended for all flat-faced dogs. It's important to consult with a vet to determine if the dog needs this kind of treatment. Birthing problems are also rampant. Their oversized heads and narrow hips make natural delivery nearly impossible. Planned C-sections are routine for these breeds, but they're still pretty risky for mom and puppies. Other common health issues include spinal defects, eye problems like excessive dryness, allergies and asthma as you might imagine from their airway and breathing problems, ear and skin infections, and heart defects. Clearly, in our quest to engineer an adorably cartoonish dog, we might have gone too far. But there are some things we can do, like choosing breeders who do health checks, 
and not exaggerating features even further with more selective breeding. We made this problem through extreme breeding and we have to address it responsibly. At Pet Spotlight, we think there's an important conversation to have about breeding practices. Our dogs rely on us not just for love, but also for stewardship of their well-being. What are your thoughts on this controversial issue? Let's connect in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on Pet Spotlight. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like this video to help us reach more pet lovers like yourself. Until next time.